Who needs an engine hoist? <laughs> we do. We're supposed to drop it, Chris. <laughs> about to remove the engine out of the car. We're just gonna muscle it out. There's Chris, my brother over there, and his uh, YouTubing son, Jaden. He's got a channel. What happened? What happened? Where'd you go? All right, we got, I think I got all the bolts out. Pretty sure. So we're just gonna muscle this thing out. I got the, the jack stand underneath it with a piece of wood, so that way it's not hurting the crank any. You ready to do this? Pull it towards you. It has light, just grab it over here. So what you're telling me it is, it can take the uh, the horsepower. Is that what you're telling me? No, oh, I'm saying it's gonna be heavy as <laughs> Pour a little fuel in there and see if we can get a spark going. Yeah, it should be able to come up and out. All right, you can drop it. Let's turn it up like this. Like this. Yeah, it's throw it on the ground. What are they doing? Call it a day. What are they doing? That's the last thing I need. I already got drunk and scraped up the rims. What? What rims? On the car? Oh yeah, the one, man, I got some major curb rash. Damn. I got rim shops, but I'll fix eh. them for like a hundred bucks. It'd be cheaper just to not do anything. Get another one. Nah. But then on the other hand, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. It's not really a priority. Who needs an engine hoist? <laughs> we do. I'm supposed to drop it, Chris. <laughs> okay. I'll be excited because this is stressing me out to watch. Why? I think it just hit the clutch. Uh, I don't worry about the clutch. I'm gonna pull it well, that's what I'm saying. It hit the clutch, and that's what it landed on. Uh. All right, that bitch is out. Look at it, everybody. Uh, there we go. We got it. <laughs> All right, without busting these hoses, because them, them are expensive. I don't know what his plan is. It would have been a 10 does minute it, job if he fit? had hoist. Oh, it would have been five minutes. <laughs> what does he need? Uh, uh, an engine hoist. Uh, we're going to jack it up and this bitch is going to endo out of the car. Hey, it's out. <laughs> I bet you'll be I out. I swear to God, it's gonna end up. We're gonna end up endoing them up out the car. It'll be out. Okay, let's just pull it. Pull it up. We'll have Lulu hold the hood. Hold it there. Well, I'm not worried about the hood. This is the last thing I'm worried about. And then we'll just go up and over. Just grab on the other side. Pick up. Let me swing it. Pick it up. Better. This is the dumbest thing I've ever been involved with. Oh, here we go, Lord. It's good. Here we go. Is out. Um, I've never pulled an engine without a hoist, but uh, there it is. Yep. Hey, All right. This the pin for it? We gotta put it in first. I understand that, but we're, what's gonna hold it in? <laughs> it's a port. It's Harbor Freight for you. Mother. Do we don't have anything else? Here's the pin. Here. That's how I go. Oh, sweet. Right. Perfect. Oh, that there. there. Now. Yeah. We can sleep. yeah. Now we can sleep at night. Uh, yeah. Now we can sleep. At night. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was interesting, but the engine is out. So there we are. That's what a 1.8 liter looks like. Uh, it's in really good condition. I, I can get zero back and forth play. This is the main bearing with the, the two thrust washers on it and everything looks good. Spins freely just as it should. We'll deck the surface and give the cylinders a light hone. I know you guys have seen it before. Just need to take the, the front accessories off. You know, basically finish stripping this thing down, take it to the machine shop, let them just kind of go over it, clean her up, put her back together, deck it, hone it. The one thing I do want to do is put some ARP main cap bolts in there. And I, I think she'll be good for some horsepower definitely seeing some signs of some hot spots on this flywheel here the clutch looks fine i've already replaced the clutch once before i did see some signs of the rear main seal back over here leaking i got a new rear main seal which also it's the crankshaft position sensor clutch still looks great although i am wanting to upgrade this guy there's a little bit of discoloration and I'm not sure, I imagine this is probably a stock rebuilder 
But I'll look into it, see what clutch this is. I don't think it's gonna handle our horsepower goals. Now it's time to finish tearing it down and then off to the machine shop. Let's do this. Well, there she is, completely dismantled. I'm gonna leave the, the crank in there just so we can transport it without damaging the crank. Now I'm just waiting on Wayne. We'll load it into the car. It is raining outside, so I'm just gonna toss this thing in the trunk. And we'll see you at the machine shop. All right, we're at the machine shop. I'm gonna go in. The head is ready and I'm also dropping off the block. I just wanna say that even though we removed that engine by hand and could have risked scratching up or messing up the crank or something else everything's fine a little bit of an update the engine is off at the machine shop the crank and pistons have already been balanced and then i changed my mind in the middle of it and went ahead and ordered some forged pistons so i had to send a piston over to je pistons so that's pretty awesome there's a lot of things that i'm doing to upgrade the engine just a lot of small projects like I'm going to clean up the engine bay. The thing is still in parts over here by my toolbox. But some of the other things I am going to do is I'm going to take this manifold here because it is bent. The heat did warp it again and it really kind of needed some sort of support because it started cracking right here where most of the heat is, which, you know, it happens. So I want to build and I'm going to build a equal length. I'm going to try and make the runners as short as I can, but I'm going to use this manifold to make a jig off of. So we can put our turbo back in the same spot. As you guys have seen in a previous video, the head is practically ready to go. We got springs, ported the intake. I thought about making a custom intake, but this after all still is my daily driver in which we've been using Shannon's car as of here lately, but I want to make it reliable. Having those forged pistons will give me a, a peace of mind along with those connecting rods. And then we're doing a few things just to really be able to turn up the boost and make this a, a reliable motor and get about 350, somewhere around there. If we go a little higher, then that's absolutely cool because I'm going to turn the boost up to whatever that turbo will do. From my understanding, it will go up to about 20 PSI. Also, I sent off the camshafts over to Crower Cam, so I'm waiting for those to come back as well. It's going to take about a month between the camshafts and the pistons. There's some other cool things that I have coming in and have planned for the car. You'll just have to stay tuned, so be sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Let me know what upgrades you think I should make to the car, yet keep it a fairly reliable vehicle. That's about it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out with your peace out.